Hi friends, here's a little video about how to make some cool art out of cans. And uh, these are LaCroix cans I found in the recycling bin up there. And I made a couple of different things. This one is kind of a, a pinwheel and it'll actually uh, rotate when the wind is blowing. And this is kind of uh, just some artwork with where I cut this, I cut it into different size strips and you can make it, you know, like a cool brooch to wear or something for a hat or something like that. And this is multiple cans lined up. There's uh, at least three different cans that are tied up in different ways. So I wanted to show you how to, uh, how to make these. It's pretty simple. I think you'll have fun. First thing I'm gonna do is make a pinwheel style. This one has seven arms on it, but maybe six would be fine. It's up to you. But I do want the arms to be even. So what I'm gonna do is take my Sharpie and I'm gonna go around the top edge here and I'm gonna try and mark it off so they look even cut it up into seven different equal shapes. I'd say probably about one inch apart. All right, well that one ended up being eight, so that's fine. So I've made little marks all the way around the edge. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver. It doesn't have to be a screwdriver. It could probably be your scissors will do fine, but I'm gonna punch a little hole right here at the top edge, okay? Just make a little starter. It's See that? I just made punched a little hole right there. It's okay if the can got dented a little bit. Now I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut the top off. Now, of course, you want to be careful when you're doing this because the top is going to turn into these metal shards. And they're not really. You, you might be able to cut yourself on it, but we're going to be careful and we're going to trim them later. So now you can see where I have my black Sharpie marks here. I'm going to cut straight down to the bottom. Okay, I finished cutting and now I'm going to fold the pieces back all the way to the bottom and I kind of kind of tug them so they stay in place. So now I've got the basic shape. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the top edges so they're round. So now I have the shape of the propeller and I definitely made a mess by cutting the ends off. So I'm going to clean up for sure. So now to make a propeller and make something that'll spin, I need to twist the arms a little bit. So here's a, watch this. I'm just gonna tr just kind of twist it and give it a bend. And I have to do all of them in the same direction because if you do one in the opposite direction, then it won't spin. And I have all the, the propeller uh, arms bent and I'm going to have a little push pin and I'm going to poke a hole right in the center here. I'll make sure when I push the pin through it doesn't come through and poke me. So that would be a drag. You want to enlarge the hole a little bit so that this spins freely right now. There's a little bit of friction so it's not spinning so I'm just going to wiggle the push pin around to make that hole a little bit bigger. So now it'll spin freely. Now I just, I just used a cork here and I'm going to put the pin and into the cork and let's see if it works. All right. So that's lesson one. So when you're making this guy, there's a lot of things that you can do to figure it out. One thing you'll notice is on this back can here that the strips are cut pretty wide, not quite an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then the second layer here, the green can, they're cut about a quarter inch. And then this can in front, they're cut even smaller. And they're all bent in different ways. And that's what gives it that kind of flowery look. It looks like a protea 
or maybe it looks like a sea urchin. So it just starts out with a can like another can like this, and I'm going to punch a hole in the top. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to measure it this time because I know that the strips are going to be really thin, so it doesn't really matter if they're even. But first thing I'm going to do is cut the top off. This time I'm going to try cutting in the opposite direction and see if that makes for less uh, dangerous top. It definitely came out a lot cleaner that time. Uh, so if you can try cutting and it may be a little awkward if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it'll be very natural to do it that way. So now I'm just going to trim it up. So now it's all cut up. Now I can bend it any way I want. And uh, one thing to do, maybe just bend every other one. I haven't tried this before. I'll try bending every other one back. And then maybe with these ones, I'll maybe with the other ones that are still sticking up, I'll, I'm gonna bend them halfway. Now I think with the long ones here on the end, I'm going to bend just the tips of these up. Okay, so that one's done now. So if I combine this one with the propeller one, you know, you start to get some pretty interesting push the ends right in and push the two can ends in right in. Now all of a sudden it starts to turn into something quite interesting and beautiful. I firmly believe you can make art out of anything. So uh, if you want to have some fun with some old aluminum cans, I'd love to see what you come up with. Remember, clean up after you're done. Don't leave a mess. That's what got us into this problem in the first place. All right. Thank you. See ya.